Hey, hello, how are you? Have I said Happy New Year at all this year? Like in the video? No, I haven't. So happy, happy new year to all of you, to everyone who's watching me, to every eye that is looking at me today. I want to wish you the best year ever. I want to wish you the best at home, abroad, at work, everywhere. I hope that your life that this is the best that you're having, like you're in the best life ever, that this year unravels into a beautiful flower for you, that you, that everything that you want becomes exactly as you want it. And as long as you're not trying to hurt anybody. So that is my prayer for all of you. Thank you all for joining this, um, this quick video. Hopefully I don't make it too long. I'm trying to make shorter videos these days, but I'm going to be doing more of these type of video where I'm talking to you because I want to interact with you more. I want to get your responses. I want to get your feedback. And while I'm at this, I ask a lot of you watch this video, our uh, videos and, and leave. So please subscribe to our YouTube channel. <laughs> If you're watching this on YouTube, subscribe. And if it's on any other platform, Instagram, TikTok, or Facebook, please follow our channels so that we can we are motivated to do more. Okay? If you like this video, please do not leave without giving it a thumbs up. All right, let's go. The image you see in front of you is what I'm going to label. I want to lab label parts of the body and with what she's wearing, right? I want to label everything that she is, that you see in front of you. We're going to start without any waste of time. At the top of her head, every Yoruba woman, when a Yoruba woman is fully dressed, you will see that her head is covered in this way. These head ties are usually, you know, um, they're usually tied either by someone else or the person who's wearing them. Um, it is part of a complete outfit. So you cannot consider yourself fully dressed as a Yoruba woman without your gele now. So the word is gele. That's the word for the head tie that you see. Gele. But basically, gele means head tie. All right, one down, more to go. And the next thing, let's move to, let's talk about hair. We don't see our hair, but hair is iru, okay? Iru. Because we don't see that in this image, I'm not going to stay on that. I'm going to move on. The next thing I see that's obvious to me is um, are, are her eyebrows, right? Or this, the brow bone. The brow bone is that area of the face is called ikbeng beju, ikbeng beju. And the hair, since hair is iru, the brow hair, or that we call eyebrow in English, is iru ikbeng beju. So you take the word for hair and the one for the brow and you combine them. And that's where you get the word for the brow hair or the eyebrow. Iru ikbeng beju. Okay, so let's keep going. The next thing that I see, what's the next thing I see? Ooh, I do see her face. Uh, I don't see her ears, so I'm going to leave that out. If you want to know the word for ear, let me know. But the word for ear, quickly, is a T. But I don't see that, so we're not going to stay there. We're going to go to her face. The word for face, the Yoruba word for face, is Oju. Oju. All right. And that takes me to the eye. The eye is, some people will call it, um, in just um, social conversations, you might say oju me, oju, and be referring to either your face or your eye. But the word for eye is not just oju, it's enyoju. Eny means egg. Oju is face. Enyoju is the egg of the eye. Look at how beautiful that is. So we got the egg of the eye, which is oju. Next is, um, sorry, the the egg of the eye. Oh gosh, the egg of the face is um is your eye, and the Yoruba word for that is eni oju, or when contracted, it is simply 
Enyi ju. Enyi ju. All right. Hope you understand that. Moving on. The next thing that I see is her nose. Her nose. Nose in Yoruba is imu. Imu. All right. The next thing are her lips. We don't have plural words. Well, we don't quantify things by putting S on the end, as you see, or, or I-E-S, as you see in English language. What we simply do is we quantify by mentioning the amount, the number of things there, or by um, using the word I want. All right. So the lip in Yoruba is a te. Lip, a te. So because we have two lips, you will not say a te's. You'll simply say a te meji. Meji means two items, two things. A G means two when you're counting the numbers. But when you're talking about items or some things, right? You say meji. How many lips are there? Ete me lo lo wa ni be. Ete meji. Two lips. Ete meji. All right. The next thing that I see are her earrings. How do we say earrings in Yoruba language? Earring is basically yeti. Yeti. It simply means something that looks good on the ear. It suits the ear. Oh, yeah, eti. Kini yeti mi. Yeti. Earring. Yeti. All right. If you guys could expound further, you, your boss that are listening, help me expound. It's harder to expound as I'm thinking about it. But you know what I mean. Yeti. Oh, yeti. Yeti. The next thing is the neck. The neck. Yoruba word for neck is oru. Okay? Oru. Oru. That is the word for neck. The next word, the next thing that I see on this lady are her necklaces. She has a lot of beaded necklaces. What is the word for necklace in Yoruba language? What's the word? The word for necklace is egba oru. Egba oru. Okay? And, but what type is she wearing? There are all kinds of necklaces, right? She has beaded ones. She has beads, like rows of beads on her. Bead in Yoruba is ileke, right? Ileke. So you can say she's wearing ileke oru. Ileke oru. Oru is neck, bead, necklace that are made of bead would be called ileke oru. All right? All right. So the next thing that I see, I'm going to talk about this, these, her shoulders. Om ejika, shoulder ejika. Again, we have two, but we don't say ejikas, right? Because we don't pluralize by adding S, nor do we pluralize by doing the IES as, you, as we do in English. Ejika, simply, if you're talking about two shoulders, you would say, Eji ka meji. Two shoulders. Eji ka meji. Two shoulders. All right. We have touched, we've touched everything so far that up to the shoulders. Now, the next, what I see is she's wearing, no, let's not go to the outfit yet. Let's keep going to her fingers, right? Her fingers. So let's talk about the hand. The hand in Yoruba is owo, owo. She has her hands out, owo, right? And I notice she has a ring on her ring finger. The ring is called oruka, oruka ring, right? Oruka, all right? And it's on her finger. 
right? And it's on the ring finger. The ring finger is called Orukayemi. 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 All right. We're going to keep going. Another thing that I see or a set of um, things that I see, another set of things that I see are bracelets. She is like, you know, jewel all around her hand, arm. What do you call these bracelets? Just as we have Egba Oru, we also have Egba Owo, right? So because she has them around her hand or arm, we, and they are Egba, right? Remember we, we said we have Egba Oru, but then the type that she has are Ileke, right? So we say Egba Oru or we could say Ileke Oru. Now that we are on her arms or hand, we say, and it's the same Egba, right? But where are they? The location of the jewel will help you better qualify it and call it the right name. So because these are on her hand or her arm, you will call these Egba Owo, Egba Owo, Egba Owo, okay? Owo is hand, so she's wearing these um, jewels or bracelets around her arms. Egba Owo. All right. Let's talk about her outfit. She's wearing a top and a bottom, right? The top is basically booba, a blouse, booba, and the bottom is a wrapper, and it is called iro, iro, right? So let's break iro down. Um, to wrap something around something or wrap something, it, um, the word for wrap is ro, right? So then if you if a, a wrapper that is worn by women or whomever, gender, it doesn't matter. Any wrapper is called ro. So that which is wrapped is what ro means. So what you see her wearing are buba, which is the blouse. Ati, which means and, iro, which is the wrapper. Should, but, I was about to say shugbon, which means but. But a typical Nigerian will not say buba tiro. They will say iro and buba, iro and buba. Or in full Yoruba phrase, iro ati buba. So her outfit is simply gele. Belu with Iro, which is the wrapper, Ati Buba, which is the blouse. Hope you've enjoyed um, this video. Thanks for spending time with me. This is an impromptu video. I wanted to put something out that could be found useful. Hope you find this video useful. Thank you so much for watching. If you have not subscribed to our channel and you're still watching, please make sure you subscribe, bef subscribe before you leave. At the same time, if this video is beneficial, if you find anything at all helpful, useful, and you would like to share, please go ahead and share. And don't forget to thumbs the video up. We have place, um, playlists created for your convenience. Please take a look at, the, at the playlist and share these videos with anyone who is trying to learn Yoruba or Yoruba. Or make sure your children are watching because you're going to see a lot of, you're going to see my children um, speak your about a lot more on this video. We have so much more coming for you guys. Thanks for watching. Bye bye. 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 bye.